Good evening, cattle country. Welcome back to another episode of Farm and Ranch Acts. I'm Cody Ward with Rock and W Ranch, and tonight you just have me, other than Chief, who's laying under the table at the Yellow Lab. So you might hear him. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the follow up on my ivermectin video from earlier, you know, probably a month ago now, and also talk a little bit about some of the other things that have happened since then. So, first of all, let me kind of reiterate I'm not a doctor, don't take my medical advice. Cause I'm not giving you any medical advice. I'm just talking a little bit about what I've done and the taste test that I did and a little bit of a rundown since then. Um, I never had any side effects, no symptoms whatsoever of taking that warmer. Always felt great, so that's all good. I also took a follow-up dose of day one and then on again on day three, I took another dose of that, that same medication uh, about a week later, I attended a funeral where numerous people came down with COVID-19 following the funeral. I did not. I did get sick. Uh, about a week after that, I started running about 101, 102 fever and thought for sure that I had COVID. Went and got tested. Both the short and the long test came back with no uh, tested negative for COVID in both cases. So interesting one specific sample does not make a trend. So just my experience and that alone. When I thought that I had COVID, I did finally get a hold of Noromectin. So I took a mil and a half of this. And uh, again, on day, on day one, when I started feeling bad, and again on day three, um, no side effects again whatsoever, although I was already sick. So it's hard to tell what's a side effect and what's, uh, what's feeling bad. I did get really thirsty following taking this. So I just drank a ton of water, ton of fluid. I know a lot of people have been mixing it with orange juice, but I mixed it with uh, grape juice just because that's what we happened to have on hand at the time. So um, I am probably going to take this roughly once a month. Let me remind you, this is not labeled for human use. Uh, it's specifically for beef and for hogs, for cattle and for hogs. And so as you're deciding what to do and whether or not to take it yourself, you'll want to consult your own medical professional. Again, not Farm and Ranch Hacks on YouTube. They're real doctors for a reason that you should go see. So that's kind of my experience. If you guys have had any experience using other products, certainly leave that in the comments below. Like and subscribe this video, and we'll keep bringing you more content every week.